just we'll take the one of the case that is our main area of interest for this chapter if n equal to 1 if n equal to 1 then we can say it is a direct linear proportional or direct re linear relationship then directly we can write a is directly proportional to b then two possibility we are getting either two possibility we are getting either a equal to k into b or a equal to k1 b plus k2 especially if constant term is not there means a is equal equal to k into b means if this graph is crossing through origin then this exact relation is called direct proportional means direct proportionality it is a just part of direct relationship direct relationship can be anything power can be n equal to 1 2 3 4 whatever will be there all will come under the direct relationship or maybe format of the equation can be can be like here a straight line equation or maybe full polynomial whatever will be possible anything will be possible all will be called direct linear relationship direct linear variation direct linear proportional all are same but if exactly a equal to k into b no other terms are there and it is linearly variable then we can say exactly this term it is a directly proportional then no need to confuse any variable is written directly proportional you have to assume only this one a equal to k into b okay and like a school time generally we used to check they will be given few equations or few graph they will they will tell how uh, just to check which one is the direct proportional which one is the not direct proportional okay now we'll just uh, try to explore this idea a equal to k into b if a is increasing then b also will increase and vice versa if a is decreasing b also will decrease but here it is very clear a equal to k into b means if a will increase by 20 percent b also will increase by 20 percent no confusion because we are not dealing with any of the power of a, power of the b and we are not dealing with any other expression of the equation we are directly dealing a equal to kb a equal to kb means if a is increasing by 20 percent b will also increase by 20 percent if a is decreasing by 20 percent then b will also decrease by 20 percent the same thing we can understand in different format different format means just will convert the expression of percentage in terms of fraction 20 percent we can write 1 by 5 means if a is decreased by 1 by 5 b will also decrease by 1 by 5 or in common we can say if a is decreased by 1 by x b will decrease by 1 by x okay here it looks simple but i just told you try to convert because once it will be inversely proportional this uh, relation between x in terms of x it will become valuable then here you just just to keep in mind this percentage we can just express in terms of fraction